Right, just the obvious to start with pretty impressive round. You must be pretty pumped. Yeah, it was a good day. Uh, you know, started off on the back nine, which is probably the easier side. Um, and got off to a hot start, you know, 400 through, I think, six um, or seven. And then made a good putt on 18 for birdie. It got me to 500, and I just kept it rolling on the front. Just the one mistake over the two days. What's been the key to, you know, playing this well? Um, you know, the ball striking has been really good. Um, but today I put my old, you know, my trusty putter back in the bag. So um, she made a lot of putts for me today. I was going to say that the stats say you've had a big day on the greens. Mm -hmm. you put in a new putter just today, an old one? Yeah, it's my it's my normal putter. Um, I just threw in a two ball yesterday just to change things up. Um, but I have my Rossi back in the bag. So it's what I putted with all on Corn Ferry this year. So it's been good. How long into yesterday's round before you decided you were going to put your old one back in today? Uh, <laughs> about number 12 or 13, I told my caddy. I was like, right. this one doesn't feel the same. <clears throat> OK. And Obviously, you're going to keep that one in the bag for the rest of the week. What do you yeah. tell us about? Obviously, you, you're about to go into the weekend on tour in the final group on Saturday. I mean, have you had a chance to even think about what that's going to be like? Uh, not really, but I wanted the you know the birdie on my last hole just to just to get me in the final group, um, just to get one shot closer. But yeah, I mean, I'm playing with Mito, so it'll be a it'll be a fun day. All right, I got some strange ones now from Kevin Price. Okay, but. <laughs> He wanted. To, he said that you caddied for Jack McGuire at first stage. He I wants did. to know how that came about and how how that went. Um, Jack McGuire is a good buddy of mine, and he was playing Mobile at my home course I grew up on. So this first stage, I wanted to get him through and help him out, and um, uh, you know, just I like caddying. I like caddying for my buddies. So you know, I went and you know did it, and it was it was tough. I like being on this side of the ropes. So how different is it? I mean, did you make any blunders or anything silly like that? Uh, nothing silly. I just, you know, I just talked to him the whole time and I uh, just kept it fun. You know, those four days can be a grind and um, it was just a lot of fun, you know, caddying for my friend. What is, that? is that what it was about, to give you a, a bit of a break and also try to keep the, the grind of what that is out of his mind as well? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think just, you know, caddying every now and then is a good thing because you get to see, you know, how people react to shots and, you know, stuff like that, and you're kind of, you know, you want to hit the shot for them, but, uh, you know, it's just a different mindset, you know, caddying, and you kind of have to have that perspective sometimes when you're, you know, actually the player. Sonia, mate, anyone else? Awesome. Good. Have a great play today. Thanks. Hey, great play, mate. Appreciate it.